Just ran out of a lunch date. The man ranted for like five minutes about how much he didn't want girl children and saw them as punishment. He said if my wife put out three girls in a row, I'd cheat till I got a boy. I explained that it was actually the man's material contribution to pregnancy that determines sex, but why did I bother? He was clearly dumb. Oh he said I don't believe in gender roles but there's just so many things I don't think women are physiologically capable of. In reference to me discussing painting houses with my dad. Painting houses y'all. He then went off about how our city was being taken over by alphabet people. In response I played dumb and asked him what alphabet people were. He said think about the alphabet. Who describes themselves with letters? I said, like Sesame Street. The Muppets. He rolled his eyes and said I needed to get out in the world more I just told him I moved back here after living various places and traveling for 10 years. I mentioned I'd lived in 5 cities, been to 30 states and 15 countries. He also said I should touch grass. He opened a weed vape in front of me and went off to the bathroom to hit it. So I grabbed my coat and things and ran right out the door. Luckily we'd only communicated through the app we met on, so he has no way to contact me or my full name. He is 35. What a waste of an hour. But I will say I'm proud of myself. When I was younger I would just sit through the whole date in fear and play nice and pretend that I was having a great time, so he wouldn't get mad at me. But I literally spent most of this one thinking how do I leave now? And took the first chance I got. I love, love, love the fact that he told you to touch grass despite obviously spending 90 of his time getting brainwashed by proto-fascist internet bullshit. What a complete dork. Glad you left. I describe this less as dodging a bullet and more as dodging a nuclear bomb. This guy is now complaining somewhere about how women won't give him a chance, probably because of his height or some other bullshit and that women only want bad boys and never nice guys like him. One guy told me it is a biological fact that men are meant to lead, and women are meant to follow. It was an 8am coffee date. I sat through that shit sober. It was nice of him to show you all the bullets up front so you could make sure to dodge it. I'd love to know what makes men more physiologically capable when it comes to painting. It's not like they use their dicks to hold the roller. Good dodge on this guy. The bar on being a good person is on the floor and MFers are out there bringing a shovel. Jesus Christ. Are you okay? Internet mom asking. What the hell are alphabet people? If he's still this fucking stupid at 35 he is going to be a bigoted dumbass for the rest of his life. I'm proud of you too, how sad to think he thought he'd impress you with those comments. I really wish there was a way of warning other women about this kind of dude. Like on the current series of Something Was Wrong. You go, girl and keep going and don't look back. Sorry an hour of your life was sucked into the idiocy void. Also WTF are alphabet people? A guy told me to shut up, stop being stupid and just listen to me because I wanted to sit at the bar and not take up a seat in a busy restaurant when we were only there for drinks. I said I needed the bathroom and just noped out of there, sent him a text when I was in the taxi. As a person of female anatomy who just finished painting someone's living room. Fuck that guy dot metaphorically. Not physically. Dear God not physically. There were less bullets to dodge in Matrix. That fool needs to touch reality. Good on you for getting away from that train wreck. I really appreciate men who wear their red flags with pride and let everyone know they suck up front. Saves a lot of time. Dodged a bullet when texting with a man I was gonna meet with when he went off and made one joke about loose vaginas and then immediately followed it up with talking about how men can't be expected to control themselves when they are horny. What the f-u-c-k? A woman? Painting a house? Yes FBI, this person right here. Alphabet people? Oh yeah, I know a bunch of them from work. 
Always going on about how alpha they are. Bunch of fucking losers. Is it bad that the idea of dudes like that lurking here and seeing themselves effectively be laughed at causing them to seethe in anger fills me with happiness? I'll bet this dude complains about women not wanting to date conservatives too lol. Gotta admit though, a terminally online dude telling someone to touch grass is funny as fuck. Girl, I don't think I would have waited until he went for a pot break. He sounds like a complete mouth-breathing, knuckle-dragger. Sounds like a massive neckbeard who spends way too much time watching Andrew Tate. Good god that's awful. Just curious though, by alphabet people did he mean people with master's degrees MBA, miles per hour, MPA, etc? Hello, nice to meet you, I have made being obnoxious my entire personality wait, where are you going? I have more terrible opinions to share. He is 35. What a waste of an hour. What a waste of carbon. At least he was good enough to stab you in the face with his red flag pole multiple times. He didn't want girl children and saw them as punishment. He said if my wife put out three girls in a row, I'd cheat till I got a boy. I'm not shocked he said that but I am surprised he said it to a woman. Wow. What a fucking trash can. No wonder he is single at 35. I'm proud of you too. Talk about a case of arrested development. I thought you were on a date with a 14-year-old by how they were talking and acting. He told you to touch grass and need to go out more WTF. All of this in one hour. I pity the women who have to work live with him. Wow. And he was the sperm that made it. This is like the one good thing about being trans. It filters out most of these idiots, because for the most part only progressive men are willing to date me although conservatives have no issue fetishizing us. I'm so sorry you had to waste your time with that idiot. Talk about a walking red flag though. Glad you're safe. This is horrifying lol. My original mental image was of you running away mid-conversation, but I guess a turd like this can't be expected not to just chase after you. Good lord. If my wife put out three girls in a row, I'd cheat till I got a boy. Henry VIII moment. Everything should have been obvious from the moment he said he'd cheat till some woman provided him a boy, but the alphabet people who self-identify as letters pushed me over the edge. No dude, you refer to them as letters and alphabet people because you're a bigoted asshole othering things you don't understand. Not that the misogyny isn't equally bad, I'm just used to seeing that in this sub on bad date stories. I cannot begin to tell you how great the Sesame Street comment is. I would have loved to seen the look on his face when he realized you yeeted out of there. Because I am mean like that. You know he will be making a nice guy post about this moment somewhere on the internet. Rolling on the floor laughing. Sounds like you dodged a huge bullet. Good for you leaving. Dodged a huge bullet. I wonder how much he lied in his dating profile. Holy shit. Internet troll IRL. LOL and they wonder why real women are not on those conservative dating sites. Good job on seeing the iceberg that most people know enough to hide. This guy. He sounds like 95 of the men in my area small, Nebraska city. I'm not dating for a reason. Thank God he shot himself in the foot before you had to endure even more bullshit spouting from his mouth. I'm curious, OP, did he show any of these red flags in conversation on the app? This is like one of my biggest fears. Love it when they come right out and announce that they are an abominable misogynist. How does he not understand that he's the one that's terminally online? What a fool. It is indeed the understatement of the year to say that you sure dodged a bullet. It's a shame you didn't get to hear his opinion on how Andrew Tate was wrongfully arrested or some asinine BS like that. Correction he is 35. What a waste of 35 years.